Hello, this is Omave, and it's time for another walkthrough of a vintage classic home computer video game. Today we're going to look at Hunt the Wumpus for the TI-994 home computer. Yeah, okay, so that looks a little cheesy to uh, to to us now, but uh, at the time in 1980, that that was really kind of the height of uh, computer graphics and, and sound. Uh, remember, competing machines at the time were the Trash 80 and the Commodore PET. They were both monochrome machines with uh, even even lower resolution than the 994. Uh, I guess you had the Atari. That was the Atari 8-bit machines had uh, some fairly decent sound and graphics. Uh, and the Apple II. The Apple II was kind of expensive. I, I think fewer people had access to Apple IIs just because of the expense. Uh, and, and also their graphics, were, I think, were a little, a tiny bit uh, less good. They were a little bit older. Um, so if you are as old as I am, you might remember Hunt the Wumpus as a text game. Uh, it would print up something saying, hey, you're in room number four. They're uh, adjacent caverns uh, 9, 12, and 17. Uh, and what you do is you'd move between these different caverns, these numbered caverns, uh, picking up clues about what was adjacent, what was in the adjacent caverns. Uh, your goal was to figure out which cavern had the wumpus in it uh, without entering that, that cavern. If you enter the cavern, the wumpus will eat you. You want to stand outside the wumpus cave or the wumpus cavern and uh, shoot an arrow into it. Uh, and all the time you're, you have uh, other hazards. Uh, there's a, a slime pit. If you step into the slime pit cave, you'd fall to your death. Uh, and there were bats. If you step into the bat cave, it would, uh, you know, the bats would carry you off to some other random location. Um, so that was all text-based. Uh, so in 1980, the you know, TI uh, had a new mic, uh, new home computer. They had to come up with some some uh, some games for it, and Hunt the Wumpus seemed like an obvious choice. Uh, but they did a really good adaptation, I think. Here, let, let's check it out. We'll go to Easy Maze, Normal Mode. Okay, so here we are. We're in a cavern. Uh, you know, notice it's graphical. We don't have to keep track of what numbered cave we're in. We can move easily between caverns, uh, and let's let's look at some of these um, uh, some of these hazards. So, a cavern with a green wall means that this there's a slime cave adjacent. So if I go up uh, or right, uh, I, I risk entering a slime cave uh, or a slime pit and I will fall to my death. So I don't want that. Oh, so I, I think I can kind of figure out where the slime cave is based on the geometry of these two. Uh, although I've been fooled before because I think there are two slime pits, not not one. If there was only one, it would be pretty obvious. Uh, and this below me, that's the bat. So in this game, uh, it's a little bit different from the original Hunt the Wumpus. Uh, if you if you re-enter a cave with a bat in it, there is a chance that he will pick you up and carry you off to some other cave. Let's see what, what happens. Oh, he didn't do it. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Let's let's try and avoid the bat right now. Uh, we might come back to him. So there's a red dot. Uh, caves within two moves of the Wumpus Cave have red dots in them. Because it's two moves, that means I can kind of I can move between these caves without risking uh, getting eaten by the wumpus. But uh, but not this one, right? Here we go. It's like a it could be that the wumpus is in one of the adjacent caves here, and or one of the adjacent caves here. And I want to try to avoid that really. So let's try and uh, collect a few more clues. Oh, hey, look at that. I guess I should probably also mention that uh, uh, you, you probably figured it out. The 
uh, the map wraps around side to side and top to bottom. Uh, okay. Hmm. Um, do I have enough information to figure out where the Wumpus is? You know, I might, actually. So, I think that the Wumpus is directly above me. And that's based on the fact that I know that uh, there are dots within two caves of the Wumpus Cave. And uh, so if you find a cave that has a red dot, and all of its adjacent caves have red dots, that means that uh, you know, the one remaining cave is probably where the Wumpus is. So uh, I flip over into arrow mode and hit the up arrow. And I got him. Let's, so let's, uh, let's take a look at the map. Yeah, see, there it is. You can see the, oh yes, there are two slime caves, the, the green circles, uh, and one wumpus. Okay, let's uh, go back. Um, hey, let's let's try to fail here. See what happens. When we, see what happens when we fail. Okay. Oh wow. Hey, there's all sorts of ways to fail here, right? Uh, let's see what happens if we fall into a pit. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So fortunately, that's that's kind of easy to avoid. But uh, you know, my favorite is my favorite is getting eaten by the wumpus. There we go. Yeah, I don't know about you. That that looks a little creepy. Um, kind of a creepy looking wumpus, if you ask me. Okay. And you know, the same thing happens if you uh, shoot your arrow into a cavern that does not have the wumpus. Apparently, the wumpus knows how many arrows you carry, and uh, and knows what this knows the sound of an arrow okay maybe okay the backstory is not has some logical consistency problems but uh, uh, but hey you know it's all fantasy right um, so there's uh, a little bit more uh, fun options uh, blindfold let's hit the blindfold option oh man <laughs> This is irritating. But it does sort of force you to try to remember where things are. Uh, what happens to that? Nope. Nope. So, yeah, okay, blindfold does kind of ratchet up the difficulty quite a bit. Uh, let's see what the map actually looks like. Oh, yeah, it was like way off. Okay. Um, there's another option called Express, which I never really... I, I never really quite got uh, the hang of this. Uh, so what happens is it will put you into a... Uh, uh, you know, when you leave a cavern it will transport you to, uh, sort of randomly somewhere else. Um, although it's not completely randomly, it's, uh, there's, a, there's a logic to it. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell uh, when I'm, uh, you know, if you're not sitting here watching me do the keyboard. Uh, I'm not actually trying to <laughs> jump between rooms and uh, this way. Uh, and the difficulty comes from having to remember, uh, you know, how, you know, how the, these little kind of express hyperspace jumps work. Uh, I never was quite a big fan of this mode. Um, yeah, so, all right, let's get back out. Um, oh, yeah, let me show you what happens in... Uh, You know, in the, the the pro mode. So pro mode, all it does is it adds more curves. And you know, you might think, oh well, that's not really making it very difficult. 
Uh, but it turns out it, it does make it a little bit more difficult because you're not exactly sure what the geometry of, of things is anymore. If you remember that that uh, that easy mode, uh, you, you know basically every square uh, was a cave. Well, now we don't have that, so uh, it's not as obvious what the geometry of the of the overall cavern is. Uh, not to mention the fact that I kind of have to. I guess I can go here. Oh no, that's what I was doing. Yeah. Okay. Ah, eh, well, okay. That's not too bad. Uh, you've got to be kidding me. Really? <laughs> okay. Uh. Okay. So we go from here. Here. Yeah, you know what? It's starting to get a little bit more difficult. Okay, so I, I bet you, well, let's see here. Is it, I think the Wumpus might be to the left of me, right? Yeah, I think so. Obviously, I was wrong. How was I wrong? Uh, oh, that's right, look at that, because it curved back in on itself. Ugh, okay. Well, that shows what I know. So, yes, that's why the, the, the pro mode is, uh, the pro level is, is more difficult. Uh, anyway, so this is Hunt the Wampus. Uh, I spent uh, several hours as a kid playing this. Um, uh, it, it, it really is sort of, uh, it ratchets up from easy relatively quickly. Um, both the express mode and the the blindfold mode uh, sort of force you to to remember things. It turns it into a lot more of a memory game uh, than a logic game. That it was originally more of a logic game. Um, and uh, yeah, and I have great great memories of this from my childhood. So uh, anyway, I don't know that there's too much else to to, to show about it. Uh, uh, so, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, this was Hunt the Wumpus.